I recently used Cavalry to create this flow field effect. It was for a print project which had like a little bit of motion design on the side. And I just thought I'd share it with you today. It's one of those projects that I'd actually forgotten how to do this technique and I had to like problem solve it like two or three times because I'm an egg and my, my mind is slowly fading. So as you can see here, we've just got some lines and we've got a noise rotating as well as changing the color. It's quite a cool effect to experiment with. But yeah, you can link this noise to any kind of parameter, as you'd expect in Cavalry. So let's just jump into it and see how we go. We are going to start off with a small line, make it whatever you want. And I've also created a color blend. So uh, link that color blend into your stroke and away we go. Let's just pop that straight into a duplicator. The size mode is on fit and then we're just going to change the size to whatever tickles your pickle and we'll just increase those as well i'm just going to turn off draw debug information i'm just going to eyeball this just so that they roughly look like they're a, a square as you can see here, the lines rotate at an end. Okay, so to do that, I'm just going to come in, add a deformer and a line. And I'm just going to ping that across to one. Go back into our duplicator and let's just start adding some noise. Okay, so in our minimum, we're just going to be zero and our maximum is 360. Everything looks a little crazy once we add that noise. It's all over the show. So we're just going to change a few parameters. The way the noise works inside a duplicator is that it affects everything based on position as well as the index. So what we want to do is we want to right click up on the noise, come down to advanced and unclick use incoming index. Now also we're just going to click on frequency and just change this to 0.1. And you can see some subtle movement here. Put a frame node onto this noise position. So it's up to you how you want to wrangle this, if you want to add another um, behavior. But uh, I'm just going to pop frame on there. And I jump into my frame node and I'm going to beef this up to just a little bit, just so you can see that motion a little more. And that's pretty much the basics of this effect. Okay, so we've got this noise, we've got our color blend, but if we ping this noise straight into the strength, things are not going to be quite right um, because the noise goes from 0 to 360. So what we're going to do instead is add a number range and for the number range we're just going to grab our noise and put this into the value and we'll change the source minimum to zero and the source maximum to 360 and the minimum and maximum here at zero and 100 since this is since the strength of our color blend is a percentage and that's pretty much the effect so you can just jump in here, just tweak this a little bit. Uh, I wouldn't tweak it too well. See, it's it's quite sensitive. <laughs> so I meant to do one, zero, five. Um, but yeah, have a play with that and uh, see what you can produce. So in one of these other tutorials, what I basically had was just an ellipse shape, and I just um, used that noise to change the radius of all those circles yeah again this is just playing with some random um, values here in the distribution so in the grid distribution as you can see here the frames per second are a bit slow so i've got duoco which is one of my scripts you just um i'll just show you how it works you just click on your count and then just bring it down to so like 20 percent and it's basically just going to create like a lower proxy value for you and we've just got this here 
So I'm actually going to jump back in and keep that to 16 so you can see like the general kind of effects. So that way you've still got the shape of it. And when you wanted to render out your effect, you can just click unclick that. And away you go. So you go from 8 frames per second here, click it, and it goes back up to 25 frames per second. So it could be pretty handy for some people. I think on some of these ones as well, um, you know, this is pretty standard at the moment. But if you've got if you've got quite a few things on your scene, it can slow down a little bit. Thanks for following along.